Hey guys, we made it to episode two. Uh, congratulations. Okay, so um, I left off last time talking about uh, how I take my own uh, direction with Michelle's uh, warm up. And like I said, I recommend you, whatever warm up you decide to do, you know, as you go throughout your careers, you're gonna, you're gonna start taking stuff from different people's things. Um, make sure you cater it to yourself and your needs, even for that day, um, however you're feeling. So today, I wanted to talk a little bit more about exercises three through, uh, what is this, six, and then also nine, as written. So we see a lot of 16th notes, and, um, you know, our, our instinct is going to be like, oh, this is supposed to go fast, and that's how, you know, that's how we tell if we're in, we're warmed up or not. But actually, the goal you want is for this to feel nice and uh, connected, and that you're just riding on the air. Just make sure I get all the, the water out before I demonstrate this. But I was doing this outside uh, a couple days ago, um, and uh, I was doing it at a pretty slow clip just to, to make sure it felt really nice and connected. So it's okay if you start off just by feeling that first interval. So this is number three. So just remind yourself where that is and where it's easiest. And then at a pretty slow tempo. I don't know, what is this? This is below 60. Like this. Mm. And you want you want both notes to resonate. That's one of my goals with this. I want to keep the air moving and I also want both notes to to sound uh equally. <laughs> This sounds like I may not have got all the water, but um, yeah, nice and easy like that. I bet most of you, if you've done this exercise, you probably went faster. Um, I've gone faster too, but like I said before, we have lots of time right now, and so we have lots of time to do things correctly. So actually, my plan with this, hold on a second. My plan with this is actually to uh, build up speed with this feeling just a little bit. I mean, this, this exercise doesn't need to go fast. Um, but with three, four, five, six, um, do the same thing. So even with number four. And you'll notice I'm doing it at a very um, easy dynamic also just to to make things um, sort of neutral and uh, you know nice you know you're warming up so you want it to feel nice so number five is the same I, I don't think I really need to demonstrate that number six is kind of the same thing now number six is kind of awkward because you start on that 16th note pickup now one of the things I do Anyways, one of the things I do, um, if that 16th note isn't really feeling good, I don't want to just trip over it. So one of the things I'll do is I'll, I'll sort of I'll, uh, lengthen it. So I'll, I'll change it into an eighth note. And then after that, you might try the 16th note, but I don't think that's really that important. But one of the things that playing the 16th note fully will do, it'll force you to have your air going right away. That 
connected. We'll talk about that later. Um, that's another thing. Um, okay, so same thing with that. And, you know, take it even slower if you want to. It doesn't matter how fast you're going. The flexibility is all there. Um, and you can build up speed later. The speed is the last thing that really is important to this. First thing is the airflow and the connectivity of the notes and the ease that you're doing. Make sure you're not you're not jamming the horn into your face. We all can uh, we all can be tricked into doing that sometimes. Um, okay, so talked about seven already. Um, eight uh, I'll come back to later. Eight I don't really do necessarily every day, but um, one thing you should know about eight. Uh, is to do it on the, the F side as printed so that you're just keeping the same fingerings through it. And it's okay if you hit uh, partials in between, um, but same idea, keep it easy. Okay, so nine, we have these eighth notes and we're not really given a tempo. Um, so I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but one of the things that it frees you up to do is to do it any tempo, right? So some days you're feeling better than others. Gauge, you know, how you're feeling, you know, and um, and make sure that your physicalities are, you know, not, not uh, contrived. Um, you're not, the, the point of this is not to get the notes. The point of this is to get the feel. So I don't know how I'm feeling today, so we'll see. <laughs> I'll give that like a six. So the next one I took a little bit slower and it actually felt a little bit better. I don't know how it sounds out there, but here it sounds better. Um, and then, you know, later on, maybe speed it up. Is important to keep a pulse though. I don't think that you should just do this sort of willy-nilly, you know. No, I don't think that's right. You want control. You want to control every aspect of it. Um, so do it in a way that is pleasing um, to your body and mind. Okay, so we'll just call this like a little addendum. Actually, now maybe I'll go back and talk about eight. There's not really much to say about eight. Um, lips, mouthpiece, horn. I don't do the lips part. Um, we've talked about this before. Uh, free buzzing for me is, uh, I haven't found the use for it yet. So, um, I mean, I used to do it a lot when I was in school and, uh, all of it has, you know, not done much for me. So, um, I do however do the mouthpiece part with this. And the main, main reason is just to try to make this a gradual slur. So on the mouthpiece, you're gonna wanna um, make sure that the slur is connected. It's a good way to check and make sure that you're using your air to make this fourth. Make sure you're not using pressure to make the the interval. It's no good. Um, and uh, you know, when you do the slur on the horn, you can do it that same rate and if you want. You'll get a little bit of the uh, partial interference. That's one way to do it. Um, or if you feel like that slur is connected, you can go ahead and just play as written. And 
and so on. Okay, that's 10 minutes. That's enough. Um, we'll come back. We'll talk about some more later. All right. Um, side note, uh, check uh, OneNote, the links. Download it to your phones. It's much better on the app than it is on your Safari browser on your phone. Um, it's okay on computers, but, you know, you don't always have your computer with you. So, um, and also feel free to, uh, you know, send me notes, send me cool stuff that you think you might want me to post. Um, it's totally just our, uh, playroom really. So I'm going to be posting more stuff. You'll see some stuff. I posted some interesting, uh, clips of Eric DeWilliger, who you might not know, but he's an American horn player who's just sort of retired, just finished his career. Um, He's still playing, but he finished his orchestral career in Germany this past year. Um, amazing horn player. You can go down a deep YouTube uh, rabbit hole with him and find some pretty cool stuff. Um, what else? I'll keep I'll keep posting stuff there. The uh, the chamber orchestra tab um, has a few links with Siegfried Idol. That's going to be our first listening for studio class next uh, quarter. So if you want to get a jump start on that, go ahead. Um, if you have any questions, just send them to me and uh, I'll reply to them in the notebook or through the email, whatever I think is best. All right. Uh, talk to you guys soon. Ciao.